Thank you, boys. Well, that was a non forget <laughs> show. Somewhere near yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I've uh, kept uh, silent uh, for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. What did I miss? He is incredibly You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry. Nice You'll get another income. chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. It is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah! Yet, uh, this is not our last <coughs> order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold you from this day forward. For better or for, for, better or for, for worse. worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to love and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 dragged me away. <laughs> that cool doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump. Said How I don't can you believe long. that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand. So that might be the reason. Katya, Arden, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. some degenerate diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for lungs. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. Had it my been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? It's the same. Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? 
Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, let go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artem. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people. So, what is the jury's verdict? <laughs> now, here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys, just be happy together. Great toast! Hurrah! To you! Stefan, will you play that song? About us. Oh, Peter is mine. Mine. Чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхе, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. 
Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me? Pick me? I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To children. To children. One more to the new colony! May it grow and prosper! To the new colony! <laughs> so smooth! Well, this is getting more women joining! <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you! Oh yes, Alyosha, I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! It's your turn, Artyom. Come on, impress us. 
This heat is just unbearable, I must say. <sighs> Artyom, we'll look after Anna here, and she's better already anyway. Go! The old man is waiting. Jim, as you can see, I'm giving the weapon some care after the desert. Yeah, I hate sand, I must say. It's rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Irritates me to no end. So, as soon as we got out of that hellhole, I started cleaning and overhaul. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna, and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission.
Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The old track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. Glad to hear that. Carry on. Aurora, over and out. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church <laughs> Scott, your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. <laughs> 